So it's been quite a while. I've been, actually, I've been, I think I've missed two weeks in the park. But Alhamdulillah, we've been here. It's, it's, it's cold. We're in that cold season again. Uh, but Alhamdulillah, we're here, inshallah. We had a beautiful brother who's come here. Uh, we won't mention where you're from, or should we? Um, you can, you can. Okay, he's from Egypt. But I was born and raised, I still live in Austria. I'm, okay, so yes. where do you live? I'm in Vienna, in the capital. In Vienna? Yeah. Okay, mashallah, that's good. Okay, so you left Islam and you came back. It's not like oh, you I really didn't. left Islam. It's I, you know, I was born into the religion. Okay, he's born into the religion. Uh, also, you know, I I went into as Islamic uh, school, primary school, high school. Yeah. Um, and I did know that it was um, the only religion I would follow. Okay. But I didn't practice it. You know. Okay, so you didn't leave. Or did you? Like, did you? It's, it's, and it's okay. It's your, uh, it's, I, I, when someone tells me what I am, you know, yeah. uh, or like uh, if you ask me what I was, yeah. you know, I would tell him I was a Muslim, you know. Okay. But in my heart, I, I still had my doubts. And okay, I, that's fine. I, I have doubt. I, I had doubts, yeah. you know, when I first came to Islam as well. When I mean doubts, it's okay, I would like an answer to this question. Yeah. These are normal things. These are okay. You know, these things are like fine. So, what, what, tell me your journey. So, what made you have these doubts and how did you know get them answered so um my journey like um when i was uh 15 years old i started you know questioning yeah. uh, my existence and why i was here and everything yeah, yeah. and when i asked my my mother who, which is which she is you know yeah, a yeah. Karen, uh, Karen. religious um, person yeah. she said to me uh, yeah, okay. Mankind, yeah. And this answer, to be honest, didn't satisfy me because okay. it, this, is, this was the only thing she told me and that was it, you know. Okay. Um, and you know, I live in a Christian country and uh, the people always ask you things because of your, uh, your color and yeah. also because you said yeah, that you're a Muslim, you know. Yeah. And then they start to talk about you, um, about, you know, how can you prove to me that there is God, you know? Yeah. And how can you uh, justify what Muhammad uh, did with, um, you know, the marriage of Aisha radiallahu anha. Yeah. And these kind of things, because you were born into a Western country, you yeah. know, um, made you accept that their ideology and their beliefs is superior. Is, yes, automatically superior because you don't know it any other way. You yeah. Know? If you don't have a strong enough community that uh, gets you into Islam, you don't yeah. move, you know? Okay. And yes, um, I married um, when I was uh, 19 years old okay. because I knew I, do, I didn't want to commit zina. I What's know that? also because uh, of, you know, even if I was not that religious, I didn't want to commit that major sin. Okay, know? all right. So Allah. I, alhamdulillah, yani, I married uh, uh, when I was quite young. And I used to have a lot of debates with my uh, with, with my wife, and then I came across you guys, you, know? okay. <laughs> you and Muhammad Hijab, uh, the speakers' corner, and people were challenging you about Western beliefs and you yeah. know these kind of questions. They they ask you directly, yeah. and you really you know <clears throat> answered them in a way that it was sufficient for me, you know, okay. um, like. Um, how do you prove the existence of God? These four premises, you know, yeah. um, uh, yeah. that the universe is created from itself. You yeah, know? yeah. Uh, that the universe didn't create itself. Yeah, the Karam Kotonish Yes, yes, yes. And uh, that, the, that um, you know, something uh, cannot come from created, nothing. Created, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, like yeah. these kind of premises. You know? And this made so, <coughs> so much sense to me. Wow. That Alhamdulillah, you know. I really started looking into Islam and yeah. this was the only thing I was looking at, you know? Yeah. Like I, I deleted all of my other YouTube channels and I just went into this kind of uh, field. Yeah. And Alhamdulillah, you know, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. since then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know. That's fair, man. Uh, no, yes. mashallah, may Allah keep you firm. It's, it's interesting, it's interesting to find out that, you know, like, like people like you, Alhamdulillah, um, have come. And, and you know, well, like, our aim is that, you know, we, we just want people to benefit from alhamdulillah not have an inferiority complex uh you know to inshallah just you know be firm in their religion be proud alhamdulillah so not to have any thank you bro just open it for us so we don't yeah so the, the, the aim is wallahi that, that, that's what we want to do and our aim is to see people like yourself 
to have shubahat, etc. And shubahat, look, they, they, it's, it's normal. You know, it's as long as you deal with them in the right way. So as long as you say, you know what, I have this doubt. Instead of, it can either, it, it's a double-edged sword. It can either cause you to move further away from Islam, yeah. or it can make you stronger. So what happens is with people who have doubt, and they look into it, yeah, and they don't follow their desires, because, you know, the two of the things is, you know, doubts and desires, yep. yeah? Usually I think they say it's the desires that lead to, uh, lead to doubts, yeah? Yes. So, alhamdulillah, with you, like, even the issue of the desire, you know, you went about it and did it in a halal way. Yeah. So it shows that, you know, when you have that true sincerity in your heart, that you will find answers. Because you could have easily said, you know what, this doesn't make sense to me, that doesn't make sense, ah, halas, I'll leave this time. you know what I'm saying? And it's usually these people who really fool their self. Yeah. Deep down, it's an issue of I want to do whatever I want and I'm going to make myself believe that God doesn't exist so I don't feel guilty in what I do. Yeah. So doubts are, uh, in that aspect, when you deal with them in the right way, then what happens is that you become stronger. I've realized people who have doubts and look into it, they become stronger in their Iman. So Alhamdulillah, like, that's, that's you. Like, may Allah preserve you. What is it that you said you wanted to ask me? There was one thing yes. that you wanted to ask me. Yeah. Um, so one question I get asked regularly you yeah. know, uh, in Vienna because you know uh, the Austrian people don't like the Ottoman you know is it why? Uh, Vienna was the city that you know pushed the Ottoman back oh okay, you know? sure. uh, okay. and um, what I wanted to ask you is you know Islam was spread right yeah, yeah. and Islam was spread through Egypt and to Andalusia yeah. and also from the Ottoman uh, Empire uh, yeah. to Serbia, Bosnia, Croatia. Yeah. Um, how did it? How did Islam spread? You know, like okay. was it really? I, I don't want to say that it was spread by the sword because so I, I think yeah. it's it was like Balak, you know, to uh, to make yeah. Balak, you know, to to spread the religion, to, to you know, yeah. talk about it. Yes. So I wanted to ask you, what do you know? Okay. So is the question, did Islam spread by the sword? I don't want to formulate like that. Okay, so what, what, well, it's, it's a question. It's, it's what, what is it? Is that or is how? How did Islam spread? Yes. How did Islam spread? Well, to be honest, look, if you think about it, yeah, Islam doesn't have this concept like the British, the colonizers. Yeah, you know, they colonized, you know, the majority of the portion of the world, um, and they stole, and these things they stole, they brought it back to the United Kingdom. You know, what the Queen wears today. You know, yeah. these are things uh, that are stolen from Africa and many other countries. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Um, and they killed people. They, you know, can can we say they invested in the countries? Uh, I don't really think so. I mean, Africa is a fine example. Yes. Islam doesn't work like that. Islam in, in, in the Quran, Surah Baqarah 256, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says that truth is clear from falsehood. There is no compulsion in religion. No. So co expansion, just yes. as any um, empire, the Romans, the Persians, or whoever it may be, the expansion has always been there. However to force people to accept Islam is not yeah so to in our with our belief system like in, as Muslims we don't believe in uh, forcing people to accept Islam yeah so Islam expanded and what it did is for those people the Christians and the Jews or the others they said you can live under our rule you pay the jizya you live we protect you yeah so Islam spread because of this message being true it's as simple as that. Not by going pillaging, killing, innocent, massacring innocent men, women and children. Like we know what the Crusaders done. Yeah. Islam, yes, Islam, obviously there were some Muslims who done some really bad stuff yeah. in the history, yes. But majority of them, no. Islam spread by the Dawah that it reached people. And one of the reasons of Dawah and the Jihad, that, you know, the actual concept of Jihad, not the ones, the perverted ones, yeah. is that the message should reach the people. So that's why the ultimatums are given of number one, accept Islam. Mm -hmm. You don't accept Islam, okay, no problem, pay the jizya. You don't pay the jizya, we'll fight you. Because what that means is, is that the Muslim empire wants the message of Islam to reach the general people. If you stop that, if the leaders at the top stop that, we will fight you for that. So that's the reason why when it came, if the people were introduced to Islam, if they did not want to accept it, no problem, you pay your jizya, you live. Now jizya is paid by who? The fighting men. Really? Yeah, yes, not from the woman. Okay. Zakah, you have to pay, your wife has to pay, but jizya is only for the men. So it's not for the Christian woman or the Jewish woman to pay jizya. So these things are in place, so it's not there to like discriminate. But yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's very clear and Islam spread, and even today it's spreading because of its truth. And how much was the jizya? 
it changes. Some say it's like like a dinar or something like that. So it changes. Okay. Like like each fighting soldier. Or sometimes, for example, there will be agreements between the rulers and the Christians argument saying if they took over, that they would say that we want you guys to come and defend and defend. Yeah. So defend them. So what that would mean is that we would like you guys to come and defend certain posts. Yes. So instead of being a dinar a year or whatever it may be, yeah? yeah. You come and do certain things, yeah. or you come and teach our children this or that. So yeah, it works in different different ways. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sorry, man. The rain is. <laughs> but that is bad. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to the car. Yeah, it's yeah. What I know about uh, yeah. about this kind of thing, you know, yeah. that in Egypt where I come from, you yeah. originally, yeah, that uh, Coptic Christian. Yes, they, they've been there for yes, they sent They, they uh, asked. You know, yeah. uh, the Muslims yeah. to come and um, get yeah. the Romans out of their uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's many say yes, there's, there's, there's. So yes. it's really true. Right? Yes, yes, yes. There is, there is. Yes. Yes. Sorry, the rain is really bad. You want to stop the video? We're gonna inshallah end here because the camera's gonna get wet. Uh, we'll see. Well, may Allah bless you. May Allah bless you. Inshallah. Come next time in summertime. Inshallah. All right. Take care. <laughs>